Hey guys, it's Dom. Today we're going to be doing a reading vlog. Okay, so I'm outside. I did not think this through because it's really, really sunny and everything hurts. But anyway, so I'm outside in my backyard because we're still practicing social distancing and I'm with my dog. She's somewhere out gallivanting. I needed a breath of fresh air because if you don't know, Chicago has been on lockdown since March 21st, I want to believe. It's currently March 25th and we're going to be on lockdown like to the minimum April 7th. So I decided to do a reading vlog during this time because it's honestly for me to see the progression of this virus because I just really want to see how it was going to progress. I was going to start the day of the 21st and that never happened. I never picked up the camera. So we're here instead. So I'm currently in the midst of the share lockathon which I'm co-hosting with Opal at Opalessa and Olivia at Olivia's Catastrophe and I'll link them down below. So I'm only like one book in still and I'm only halfway through it because it's been a chaotic few days but I'm doing the gaming as a foot challenge where I have to read a book that starts during an exciting event and I'm reading the raw shark text by Stephen Hall. It's about this guy who wakes up, doesn't remember anything, so he needs to go to therapy, and the therapist said, hey, don't read the letters from your past self, but then he does, and he, reali he realizes there's more to it. It's kind of like the House of Leaves-esque sort of thing. Only one book in, even though this started March 8th, just because it's been a chaotic few days. For those of you who don't know, I was in the Disney College program, but they laid us all off due to coronavirus, and they had to send us home for our own safety. So, and it was a chaotic time. I had less than four days to figure out how the, how the hell I was going to get back to Chicago. But I'm here. I got a ride home. I am safe. Hope you guys are safe as well. That's it for the introduction of this video. Really, currently, Illinois is, Illinois as a whole has over 1,200 cases. I forgot what Chicago has, but we are in a very strictly enforced shelter-in-place lockdown. The mayor is supposed to be going on TV giving us an update. Apparently, like, the cops are going to be patrolling around, so that's going to be interesting. It's tough, and I'm gonna like give updates every night, I think, or as, as much as I can because it's really. Oh, I need to switch my arm. Okay, it's really hard to find updates for whatever reason, but we're gonna get through this together. So let's get back to reading after I make my coffee first because I am dying. Also, it's been so cold lately that even though it's 50 degrees, like I'm out here in shorts and a t shirt because that's how cold this city gets. Okay, so I'm laying down on my futon because I can, but I got where I wanted to be with the raw shark text. I was pushing for 50% first, and then if I hit 50%, past page 200. So I'm currently, and I know this because I was it was on my Kindle. I'm currently 54%, 200 pages, 209 pages in. So I've surpassed both goals, and I need to take a break from reading because this book is kind of like low key boring. But I'm already so committed, I can't put it down. So I'm gonna put a record on or vinyl, whatever you guys want to call it, and I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing. Wanted to start early today because last night I didn't get on till like after 10 p.m. So I missed the opening of whatever it's called, Nook's Cranny, the store, by five minutes. And I was so pissed off. So I'm going to explore that. And then I'm going to see who's moving into my town because I made all three houses last night and all the furniture, which took forever. And then I made a shirt, but I turned it into my Disney costume. So it's really cute. So we're going to see what day, whatever I'm on. I think I'm on day five. We're going to see what it's like. Tell me why I'm only one chapter in today's reading experience and I already want to shoot myself. Like these people knew each other for like two days and honestly no chemistry because in all these fucking doomsday books the characters are always the same and it never works and they love each other already. I'm gonna flip my shit. Ooh, text message. I'm gonna flip my shit y'all. Every time I read these books, books like with this like weird doomsday end of the world feel and they're always fucking written by men too where I get this like the guy is always like some like some wimp who doesn't know what he's doing and the girl is just like badass but in reality she's kind of just obnoxious why am I reading this well I'm reading it for the share lockathon but why did I choose this book I don't want to DNF it because I'm determined to get one book done I looked up the date the it ends tomorrow <sighs> I'm determined to get this book done 
I'm, it's not gonna happen, but I'm determined. Hello, it is the next day. If I have a red spot on my cheek still, it's probably because I was leaning down on it like this. Last night was very anxiety inducing because I was watching a lot of TV reports about what's going on in New York. I have a friend who's in Queens and she said there's over 21,000 cases in New York right now. They're really running low on ventilators. There's like trucks going around picking up like the bodies from the hospital, which freaks me out. I was reading articles about the possible aftermath of what all this is gonna cause. It was not a good night last night. I got into like this weird depression mode and I was kind of close to a panic attack. Didn't really happen. But it was not, it was not good. So I decided I'm gonna stay in my pajamas all day. I've been like getting up and getting ready like as if I'm about to go out just to keep some like semblance of real life here in this quarantine. But today's pajama day because I'm losing my mind. Two days ago the mayor went live and she was really really pissed off because she found people were gathering in groups outside in the park because it was it's been a nice pa past few days it's been in the 50s so people were gathering outside in the parks and stuff and she was pissed like she came on the news and said like you guys are doing that you guys aren't staying home like you were ordered to do I have to take extreme measures and then she brought up New York she's like we're gonna turn if you don't listen to me we'll become the catastrophe or the catastrophic stuff that's happening in New York right now I don't want that to happen so we just got an emergency alert, a text message yesterday, this happened yesterday, um, that she's closing down everything, like major, major walkways, like the lakefront's closed, the river walk is closed, these things have never been closed, and she's closing them, the 606 path is closed, it, it like boggles my mind because it, it freaks me out, because I'm not used to seeing Chicago empty, so seeing like pictures of this on the news like freaked me out, truly feels post-apocalyptic, like last night we also, not only did we get a text, but regular TV programming was interrupted with like this PowerPoint basically and it was a blue screen with words and it was a robotic voice reading it to you and it was basically what the text message said but it was just so it was the shit you see in apocalyptic movies so it freaked me out like I've never seen Chicago like this usually when I'm coming into the city from anywhere like coming into Chicago like that border insane whether you're leaving the city or coming in it's always jam-packed with traffic like what should be a five minute drive is like an hour and then when me and my indiana roommate were coming home we we just drove through we were one of two cars on that highway and it was so fucking weird that's i think that's all i have to say about that on a happier note i have a quarter of this book left and it's the last day of the share lockathon so i want to finish this book so i could say i read at least one book for a readathon that i am co-hosting so we're just gonna get to that so it's been a few hours it's not my days aren't very productive right now because there's just nothing going on i've already graduated college so i don't have school work to do don't have a job so i don't have you know stuff to do at home to do for something and get paid um i'm losing my mind but anyway so i got some reading done i'm still not finished with the book and I want to finish it, but I also want to film a few videos tonight. Who knows? But then I played some Animal Crossing. I still haven't caught a fucking tarantula because they keep they keep biting me and making me faint. I watch Love, Death, and Robots. I have two episodes to go. It's boring. I don't know how to vlog when there's nothing going on. But, you know, stay indoors like the mayor told y'all to. Cause she's fucking pissed that you aren't. Stay indoors. Stay the fuck inside. And, yeah, that's been my day. At 9 o'clock, I cl climb onto bed, put my robe on, because it's cold out. It's, kind of, it's very cold in this house for some reason. I um, was like, wow, I'm going to read. And then I just kept scrolling through social media and watching YouTube videos, and this is my life. And playing Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Finally went on my third date with Barnaby Lee, but no one cares about that. So, we care about reading. We're going to try to get this book done. So it is Sunday, March 30th, 1.11 uh, p.m. A lot to catch up on. So when it comes to the coronavirus or COVID-19, I don't know if it's like globally, but I know like nationally, America has had its first infant death. And this child was from Illinois. So that broke my heart when I was reading about that. Um, yesterday, Trump came on the news saying they're extending the social distancing stuff until April 30th. On a happier note, when it comes to reading, I did finish the raw shark text. I gave it about 2.75 stars kind of sorta because I was like really confused how I felt about it like the beginning so promising Dolce that was my dog so the beginning very very promising but like you find out the plot to plot twist like way too early in the book so I was slugging through and at the 95% mark that's when it got exciting but then the ending just left me with more questions than answers I was really confused what was going on there and I can't explain it because it's because spoilers so I finished one book for the Sherlockathon, my first readathon I am co-hosting. I couldn't even like complete it. It is March 31st. I meant to update you guys yesterday, but 
time got away and I forgot to so I just ate my lunch as I read Tokyo Ghoul I finished the first volume yesterday and it is very very good although the first volume I knew what was gonna happen because I have seen like an episode like the first episode of Tokyo Ghoul kind of sorted the second one so we're actually now currently getting into the parts where I just I have no idea what's gonna go on from now on but now that I'm reading Tokyo Ghoul I see all the Funko Pops online so like the FBI is watching guys and it's kind of sort of spoiling stuff I think because they're like this is what Ken Kaneki looks like but it's like nothing like the drawings in volume one so I was like you guys are messing with my brain you're spoiling things for me but anyway great so if you don't know what Tokyo Ghoul is about it's actually about these murders are happening by ghouls and Ken Kaneki just wants to go on a date and he's like what are these ghouls they can't be real surprise they're real and then shit happens he gets attacked by a ghoul her, she dies, but then her organs are transplanted into him, and now he's like half ghoul, half human, so he's trying to find his place in the world. And it's a it's a great time. This is my first time reading a manga. I also started watching Tiger King last night, and I, I know people like love it because of how wild it is. That show pisses me off so fucking much. I hate everyone in that show. I'm not Team Joe or Team Carol. I hate both of them for different reasons. Like my I majored in zoology, and like my zoology ass was like triggered by this whole thing I'm like I, I wanted to piss like I wanted to punch everyone in the face and yet I'm four episodes in I watched four episodes while playing Animal Crossing Animal Crossing's great I finally caught a fucking tarantula the Able sisters are opening up their shop today I got another room in my house I'm buying a bridge it's the only source of semblance of having my life together because <laughs> the reality is my life is not together right now so it's gonna be a good time and I'm gonna go film a video and then I'm gonna start reading volume two of Tokyo Ghoul It is April 2nd. We are finally in the month of April. March just kicked my ass and was not a good time. So I don't really have any updates when it comes to the coronavirus except like, I mean I think I already said this, like it's been extended, the, uh, like the lockdowns have been extended until April 30th. Jobs aren't hiring. I'm stuck. Blah blah blah. So all I'm doing is chilling. I've read two books since you've seen me. I've read, no I've read three and then started one. So I'm reading the Tokyo Ghoul manga and I finished volume one. And then two days ago, I started volume, I read both volume two and volume three because they're just so, it's so much action. I started volume four last night, but then I was falling asleep, so I stopped. I'm only halfway through it. Volume four is not as exciting as the other ones. But right now I'm playing Animal Crossing because I didn't play yesterday, and I'm really excited because there's cherry blossoms. Hello, it is April 6th. I don't really have a lot of updates for you guys. Nothing has been happening. That's why I just set the camera down and didn't pick it up. I finally watched Onward, Pixar's Onward. Cute movie. Hated that ending, but I did like the movie as a whole. Haven't really picked up Animal Crossing since the last time I picked up the camera. I Have I updated you guys on Tokyo Ghoul? I don't, I don't know where I was the last time I updated you guys, but I just finished Volume 6 last night. I was going to read Volume 7, but then I got sidetracked and I'm deciding to do other stuff. So what we're going to do today is begin the Owl's Readathon, which started on the first, but I'm late. I only have four books to read for the Owl's Readathon because my career is the Magic Zoologist, so I'm going to start with the Potions class, which is to read a book under 150 pages. So I'm going to read this graphic novel, Goliath by Tom Gauld, and it's basically a David and Goliath reimagining, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to finish it really fast because I was, I was flipping through the pages and there's not a lot of dialogue going on just pictures and yeah probably read volume 7 today I'm gonna order Jimmy John's they, they're coming out with deals after deals and I keep missing them plus due to the virus they're closing earlier they like I don't eat dinner till like 8 o'clock and they're closing at 7 p.m. they usually close at 10 and I'm like mmm but they have one deal going on where it's like buy a sandwich get one free and like my mom always wants the sandwiches but she doesn't want to spend money on them so I was gonna get them for us and that's all I got just realizing right now this was originally supposed to end tomorrow April 7th and it's not gonna end until April 30th. I know, and they're in the talks of expanding, apparently.
art style is very cute. I'm just kind of confused what's going on. There's not a huge plot yet, and I'm a decent way through already. No plot yet, but he seems like to be a friendly guy, you know, the friendly giant who wants to keep to himself. And, you know, he's getting dragged into this battle. He doesn't know what it is yet, but if you've read the Bible or at least know the stories, I think we can all assume what's going to happen because it is a David and Goliath retelling. So we'll see. feel sorry for Goliath because he said he's the fifth wor fifth worst swordsman of his platoon and he doesn't want to fight people because they're sending him that's the secret mission they're sending him out to basically fight but the captain's like don't worry no one's gonna come out but we know the story of David and Goliath so we know someone's gonna come out <sighs> feels I, I feel so bad for him <laughs> This right here is my favorite part so far because this little nine-year-old boy keeps asking him questions this one's my favorite one so I finished Goliath I don't know how I feel about it it wasn't what I was expecting like not a lot went on it was very slow and I think I was just expecting more I don't know more of what but just more if that makes sense I want to give it three stars but I know that's the wrong rating but it's better than two so I'm just gonna leave it at like 2.5 maybe I don't know I'm not gonna do anything on Goodreads I'm gonna hold off for another hour so I could think about it I feel I felt bad for him like if you know the story of David and Goliath you know how it's gonna end so I feel really bad for him because he was so friendly I'm gonna order Jimmy John's for lunch and just surprise my mom because she's on her way home from work and like speaking of work one of my roommates from Disney just told us that she applied for another job and she has an interview coming up and I had the sudden realization or not realization it was more so the urge to reapply to Target because I really needed income I'm tired of being in this fucking house like I need to go outside and I, I need an income there's stuff I want to buy but like I can't because I have no income so I'd feel guilty and before because I worked at Target during the Christmas season and you know when they were letting go of all the seasonal employees like my manager did tell me like oh we would have kept you if you weren't going for Disney so that made me feel good and then the others were telling me like yeah just if you ever need to reapply when you come back like we'll put you in the top of the list because we'll see that you worked here before so maybe they'll hire me on the spot maybe even if I didn't like work there in the past they'd hire me on the spot anyway because one of my friends just texted me saying she walked through Target and they're like really hurting for people and like this whole thing is high key triggering my OCD because a lot of my OCD has to deal with like sickness and disease. So I'm kind of scared of going outside but like also I want a job and my mental health is going crazy because I have nothing to do. My friend said like they were all wearing masks and gloves so we'll see. But if it's 3 in the morning and I'm still awake you know it's because I'm applying for a job at Target. We'll see. So yeah. It's time to order food because my stomach is growling. April 9th, and I've read absolutely nothing since finishing Goliath, which I decided to give 2.5 stars on. But I read nothing, and I could say it's because life got in the way, but in all, honestly, in all honesty, it did it. I'm just really fucking lazy. I've just been playing Animal Crossing. I paid off a bridge. I'm finally going to pay off my house tonight. It's going to be fantastic. And then my next goal is to buy more land to get another neighbor. I'm living my best life. Alright, we're gonna get to reading. I keep calling this the Conference of Birds, but it's the Conference of the Birds. And it's the fifth, the fifth book of the Miss Peregrine series. It's significantly shorter than the fourth one, and I have no idea what this pertains. So, I guess I'm going in cold. And also, Perfect by Ed Sheeran stuck in my head, but the one with Andrea Bocelli, so the one that's in Italian, it's my wedding song. I picked out my first dance song already, but it's stuck in my head. day 
number something of this quarantine on April 14th and I haven't been vlogging because nothing is fucking going on. I'm losing my mind with boredom. But just to give a little catch up, so I watched the 8th season of American Horror Story which was Apocalypse and it was so good. I meant to only watch one episode and I ended up watching seven in a day and then I finished the season the next day. I started watching Umbrella Academy which is based off the comics written by Gerard Way of My Chemical Romance. Only one episode in, it was kind of boring but I'm going to continue it anyway just because I want to see what happens. And I have 60 pages left of The Conference of Birds, which is my second book for the OWLs, so Owls Readathon. I don't know why I keep saying OWLs. My dog is staring at a wall, like staring at nothing on a wall, and it's freaking me out. But anyway, I have opinions about it. I can't really... But I have some opinions about it. I don't, I don't really know what they are, because they're so jumbled. It's just, this plot is not what I was expecting it to be. It almost, to me, it almost has nothing to do with book four, and I'm just kind of confused. But we're at a scene right now where they're in some loop, and this kid, his name is Joseph, and he's talking about how, like, all the adults are dead and only the kids are alive, and I'm like, holy shit, this is some, like, children of the corn shit. Good movie. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. But, oh my god. So, yeah, I'm, my goal is to finish this today because I wrote out a little schedule for myself for the next week and I'm going to be reading, I'm going to be journaling, I have to make a run to Target tomorrow. I'm planning on only vlogging for 15 more days and then uploading this and see what happens because they are talking about extending this quarantine and I am not making this like a three month long vlog. So, we'll see. I'm going to try finishing this book and then I can give like proper thoughts on what I think about it. Okay, everyone, the Conference of the Birds is done and I'm... <sighs> I don't, I don't know what the fuck that was. Like, honestly, in, like, the first hundred pages of the book, I'm like, you know what, this is, like, a solid four out of five read, and now I'm tempted to give it two out of five stars, because I, the, the plot of this book was actually a mess, and I'm kind of angered by it. I'm failing to see what this book had to do with book four, and, like, I thought the plot would go in one direction, and then it went entirely different. The ending has me at a loss for words. When I read book four, I gave that out of, felt like, five out of five stars. I was like, you know what, maybe this is a continuation I wouldn't mind, and would work really well. After this fifth book, I think, dude, Reigns and Riggs should have just left it at book three. I am lost for words. I'm not going to write it yet, I need to sit on it for a while. But in other news, that's two books done for the Owls Readathon, and I start the next one tomorrow. Later in the day, I decided to give the Conference of the Birds 2.75 stars, I almost said 3 stars. See, I was tempted to give it 3 stars, but I knew I'd be lying to myself. So I gave it 2.75, but it's kind of a 2 star read. I don't, I don't know, I have so many problems with the book. When I was reading it, I didn't see the problems with it, it wasn't until I turned the last page and I was like, Alright, this this had things I didn't like. The plot was really discombobulated. Book 4 might as well have just been totally disregarded. Book 4 set, up, set it up to be this big adventure with Jacob and Noor, I think it's pronounced. But it wasn't. And you know, everyone was a fucking asshole to Jacob in the end of book 4, like telling him like, you're not Abe, you'll never be Abe. That was all disregarded in this book. Like, they just ignored that that conversation happened. Only Emma brought it up, but everyone else just ignored it. And it's like, I don't know, like, book four made me think book five was going to be about Jacob turning from a boy to a man. He was going to grow into himself. He wasn't going to give in to Miss Peregrine all the time because he's 17. None of that happened. He relies on his friends too much, and that so he went back to them, and I I don't know. And then they had one plot going, but then they diverted into a second plot, and then, like, in the end you find out they were connected. It just wasn't executed well. The climax was, I could see it coming... And it pisses me off that Jacob and Nora could not. Some of these characters were just so flat. I made a review of A Map of Days, and I said in that review that he introduced way too many characters in book one, and as the series goes on, he doesn't know what to do with them. He, as in Ransom Riggs, doesn't know what to do with them. Like, Claire, fucking pointless. Olive, she's cute, pointless. He, he, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, Hugh had nothing to do with either of these any of these books until this one. He was introduced more in this one and now that Jacob's not with Emma she was like thrown to the back. And another thing I said in A Map of Days is that it's so obvious Ransom Riggs is writing these books as he goes and that's how book five read. I don't know like are you like actually outlining this new trilogy like it and the thing that was introduced in book five like you spent that whole fucking trilogy the whole first trilogy trying to defeat this guy just to have like introduce a prophecy and say oh just kidding he like planned that whole thing no I'm out he should have just left it at book three I don't know will I still read book six yes because I have a lot of unanswered questions 
I should have been suspicious when I saw how small this book was compared to a map of days, but alas, I fell for it. So other than that, it's been chill. Like, I just ate some pizza with my parents and watched TV. I watched NCIS, and then Christopher Lloyd was a guest star, and his character made me cry. I actually cried because he was talking about his experience on the USSR... Is that, what, is that the name? The USS Arizona, which is a, um, for those of you who don't know, it was one of the many, many ships that were bombed during Pearl Harbor, during the Pearl Harbor attack. And you can go to Hawaii and actually see the memorial because it's, this ship had, it sunk, completely sunk, and you could actually still see that ship. And all the people who died on that day are actually, like, still in the ship. And then veterans who survived, once they died, they actually had the choice whether or not to be buried there. And that was, like, the point of this episode. Like, his, Christopher Lloyd's character wanted to be buried there, but he had to prove he was a veteran because, like, he joined the war really early under a different name, so he had to do a lot of proving. And then there was a part where he described his experience on that day, and they didn't use flashbacks or anything. It was just an old man, like, just crying and yelling about his experience. And then I started crying. I looked over, and my dad was crying. It was an emotional night. And then I spent some time on catching up on some booktube videos, and now I'm gonna film some stuff because I'm behind and hopefully I'll just go to bed on time because that did not happen last night. I started reading a new book today. I actually started this yesterday but I read a good chunk today. It's, it's Legendary Ireland, Myths and Legends of Ireland by... I think it's N.A. Massey. I think that's how you pronounce that because I had to look it up last night. Um, it's what I wanted. When I was when I was in Ireland, I was like, wow, I really want to learn about some of the myth and legends. Because if you go to Ireland, like, every mound, every hill, every castle has a huge story behind it. And that's what I wanted to learn about, and that's what I'm getting. It's very history heavy. I was expecting just short stories completely. But she puts a little history before each thing, which, although I wasn't expecting, I should have expected. Because, like, how will I know what she's talking about if I don't have any background about it? But this makes me want to go back to Ireland so bad and we can't because traveling <sighs> traveling during a pandemic is not good speaking of the pandemic though Illinois is talking about that we're flattening the curve I don't really know I missed the live coverage today as of now our lockdown is still until April April 30th but other states are extending till May 15th I don't know if Illinois is I have to clue in tomorrow I know there's rumors that it's gonna happen but either way, this vlog is going to go up, like, after April 30th because I'm going to separate into parts because I put up the raw footage of this one in my editor. So far, I have an hour and a half of raw footage already. Like, <laughs> my B. So I have to figure out what to do and, like, how to edit it and all that crap. Also, for another update, I'm going to read Tokyo Ghoul. I read the seventh volume last night. We're at the part where Kaneki turns into that, like, evil-looking self because if you look up previews, Kaneki, the main character, has, like, the gray hair and like the nails painted and all that and I'm finally at the volume where that happens so we're it's getting good I could read eight and nine today if I wanted to but I don't know I should probably go to bed early so I can get more reading done early in the morning tomorrow because once my mom comes home from work it's like hard to read she like works in the morning though but when she comes home from work it's hard to read because there's so many noises going on in the house now that we're all home but we'll see I might film a video too they say April showers bring my flowers but look there's no rain it's all snow why is it snowing in April? And happier news, you guys, Evanescence just announced they're having a new album this year. Oh my god. So I just finished this story, The Return of Oisin. I don't know how to pronounce Gaelic stuff, but... So it's about this guy who ran off with this woman, and then he finds out that in her land... Where did I read this? Yeah, it was about right here. He finds out that in her land, one year in her land is a hundred years in Ireland, so that kind of just made me think of Narnia and C.S. Lewis was from North Ireland if I remember so it makes me wonder if he got ideas from the Irish folklore and something really cool about these stories is that they obviously you know these obviously take place before Christian let me actually like face the camera towards me they obviously take place before Christian Ireland and it's really cool at the end of the story he actually mentions St. Patrick because it's 300 years later than the last time he was in Ireland. Everyone's like, yeah, we could take you to this guy who's speaking of the new god. And it's, they call him Patrick. So I'm like, oh, St. Patrick. So that's really cool. That's all I wanted to share. So I'm just going to keep reading now. So yeah, for a little update, just as you guys saw, like in the last clip, the governor did just announce today that all schools will be closed in the state of Illinois. All schools will be closed for the rest of the academic school year, which is really upsetting because I know every high school student, every senior in high school was so excited to graduate. Even the eighth graders, it's really sad because the way Chicago does it, you don't necessarily have to go to your high school, your district high school. 
it's, it's a whole process, I don't know how to explain it, but we essentially apply for high schools like we can apply for college. Like just to give you guys an example, just to give you guys an idea, I I graduated with 107 people in my 8th grade class and I went to high school with 13 of them. So for a lot of them this was like their last chance to see their friends because of social distancing, that can't happen and it's really upsetting. I woke up early this morning and I ended up finishing Legendary Ireland and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars because it gave me everything I wanted. Like I just wanted a book about the myths and legends of Ireland, which it gave me. But like the historical aspects, the way she wrote those out, like her little history lessons got boring and I was like, oh, I'm falling asleep. And then I was kind of wishing, not kind of, I did wish that she put them in chronological order because I'd be reading story A and then the footnote at the end said, if you want to know why this happened or read story B, but story B was way before story A. So it's like, my dude. And then this is a nitpick. This like this didn't alter how I rated the book or anything, but I just wish there was like a pronunciation guide because some of these Gaelic names, like looking at them, I didn't even know how to pronounce them in my head. Like I couldn't even do something phonetically. So we love to see it. But I so that means I have three out of four books done for the Owls Readathon. My last one I think is Herbology, which is a read a book that starts with an I. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Right now I'm actually going to journal and then watch Umbrella Academy. So it's been a few days. It's April 24th. Um, I have not picked up the camera because of like mental health reasons. I was like, oof, we're not having a good time over here. So my OCD has been through the roof. The depression is as you do. Depression's as you do. Um, I'm not going to get into too much detail. We're going to move on because I'm feeling better today. I finished watching the Umbrella Academy last night and I'm furious. I hate Luther with a fucking passion. Mm, so much could have been avoided if you just listened to Allison. But whatever, spoilers. I have, I'm actually on my last book for the Owls Readathon, and otherwise, like, it, once I finish it, I have completed the Owls. I have one more chapter left of I Am David. If you don't know what I Am David's about, it's about this guy, it's about a 12 year old boy who escaped the gulag, so he's trying to make his way to Denmark. It's the first time I'm using the Books app on iPhone, and I like it significantly better than Kindle because, one, the options are broader. There's so many books I want to read on the Kindle that don't come with the Kindle. Can you guys hear my Keurig? That is so loud. Wow. And I don't know, and they're kind of cheaper. And I love how like it, they change day and night mode automatically depending what time you're reading and it's great. But one more chapter and then Owls is completed and I'm so excited and then I don't know what else I'm going to do because I finished Umbrella Academy so now I have nothing, nothing to watch. I could binge watch The Golden Girls. I want to binge watch that so bad. And then Netflix US announced that they're gonna drop Avatar The Last Airbender on May 15th. I am so excited. I fucking love that show. That's all I got going. When it comes to COVID-19, I do have updates on that. Illinois has extended till May 30th. I'm not gonna make this vlog until May 30th. I might just do two different parts. So I finished I Am David and I gave it three out of five stars. It was really slow going in the beginning and I was strugg- I was struggling. Like I was like, oh I kind of want to DNF this low-key. But I kept going and see my problem was that it was more it told more than it showed and that was my big problem with it but there are a lot of things i also liked about it i thought his prayers to his per first of all he had a personal god which i thought was like really really cute and i liked his little prayers to them because it reminded me when i was a kid you know because in the catholic religion like we have to pray on our knees so you know every night before i went to bed i would kneel by my bed and pray so it reminded me of that it reminded me of my childhood um the ending cute super cute. I completed the Owls readathon. I think this is the first time I completed a readathon in years maybe. I don't know. I, I start them but then don't finish them. Oh. So I don't know what I'm gonna read next. Probably Tokyo Ghoul. Maybe I'll just finish Tokyo Ghoul because like 
next on my physical TBR is Lord of the Rings, but I don't really want to read Lord of the Rings. I'm not in the mood. I kind of want to read books like my dad's favorite books and then my mom's favorite books and make vlogs about those. But I don't have half the books. I have to order them and I don't have Prime anymore, so they're not going to come quick. I, and like with the pandemic, they're not going to come in five days. Like packages are taking two weeks right now because they're understandably prioritizing. So makes sense. Uh, Dolce, my dog smells, so it's time for a bath. So we're going to go do that. Are you ready for your bath? Are you ready for your bath? Mm hmm I see you. I see you. Dolce doesn't really like bath time, so if you're out of bath, we'll give her treats. Oh, man. It's late at night right now. My dad was watching Gran Torino, but he fell asleep. So I think I'm just going to sneak over and watch a movie. I'm in the mood for a movie that's going to make me get in my feels. So I think I'm going to finally, finally watch Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I've been meaning to watch this for a while now, and I had no idea it was as old as it actually is. For some reason, I was under the impression it was on the newer side, but this movie came out in 2004. How old was I in 2004? I was seven years old when this movie came out. I'm thinking I was maybe in my teens when it came out, but whatever. So we're finally going to watch it, and then it's after midnight, so we have five more days of this vlog. What am I- what the fuck am I gonna read? I still haven't decided what I'm gonna read. I don't constantly talk. Jesus. Okay, so it's the following day. I gave Volume 8 of Tokyo Ghoul 4 out of 5 stars. Cause I'm reading these things really fast, like, in a day. And it was, it was so good. We're almost done with the series. It's so nice out today. It's like in the 60s. It's been in the 40s for the past two weeks. It's gonna be good back down to the 50s tomorrow. But it's insane. Not a lot of people are outside, surprisingly. I was expecting people to, like, break the rules, but they're not. And I have my face mask on because I am about to go to Target for grocery shopping. Um, last time I went, I almost had a panic attack because of germs and all that, so that's great. And we shall see. My dad's probably going to come with, so that's going to be fun. So it's April 28th. I already ate all my quarantine snacks, so that's where my life is at. But I decided I'm going to read Origin by Dan Brown. It, I don't know what it's about. I just know it's in Spain. And people are saying it's like going back to the old days of Angels and Demons and the Da Vinci Code, but... um. We have yet to decide, because they were saying that about books 3 and 4, and I didn't think that, but whatever. I've been in the mood to, like, reread Twilight, because I was watching Trin Lavelle, like, react to the movies, and now I feel the need to watch them. My love for Alice Cullen has sparked again. My dog is about to start barking. I could see her reflection in my TV. And I think my mom's coming home, so I think that's why Dolce's going crazy. So, quite the quote to read during quarantine. Hmm. Alright, so mom's home, so I had to change rooms, but I read the prologue of Origin, and I'm finally getting, like, a feel for what this is about, and like I said, people have said he's kind of going back to the roots of Angels and Demons and the Da Vinci Code, and I see it because this book is bringing in religion, which is why I like those first two books so much compared to books three and four. I love when books explore religion. I don't really know why, but it's kind of cool. Um... I'm not expecting much from this book. Like, when I go into Dan Brown books, I don't expect spectacular writing or, like, nothing award-winning. His writing's mediocre, in my personal opinion. It just- but it works with what he's writing. Like, I think these stories are supposed to be, like, quick and fast-paced, and just his writing works for that. I mean, it's very formulaic, I guess, is what I'm going for. Like, the first four books of the-, of the I almost said the Dan Brown series. I can't fucking talk right now, you guys. I cannot focus. But the first four books follow like a formula and I can kind of tell that's where this is going. But it's what I need right now. I think I, I just need a book I can enjoy because like I haven't been enjoying a lot of the books except for Tokyo Ghoul obviously but I don't know. But yeah it was very hard to focus. I don't know what it is today but like I was rereading paragraphs five times. It is April 29th, the second to last day of this vlog and it is very very rainy and it's a per the perfect weather to read. I love reading when it's raining. Um, it was thunderstorming all morning actually so like it's 2.30 and this is the sunniest it's been all day. It was like pitch black this morning. I decided I'm not gonna read Origin. I said last night that I needed it. Like it's- I needed like quick paced writing and something I could just whip through. And then I decided the reason- the whole reason I wasn't concentrating was cause I- I'm not in the mood. So are we gonna read something quick? No. Instead, we're actually going to read The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. So, funny story about Lord of the Rings. I actually did this reading program when I was in 8th grade. Yeah. I had to read The Fellowship of the Ring, which is the first book of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and I absolutely hated it. I thought it was so boring. We didn't even complete the book during this program. She only had us read the first half of the book. So, I took it upon myself to try to finish it outside of this program, and I could not. I thought it was one of the, it's to this day one of the most boring 
from memory I should say to this day it's one of the most boring books I've ever read I got more a little more than halfway through and then I finally had to put it down because I just could not stand it but so around this time in 2018 it was when I was studying abroad in New Zealand so in New Zealand it's a little different than what like at least what my university does because what my home university would do is that the, you had the last day of class and then we had one day for studying and then the next day was finals whereas my university in New Zealand you had the last day of class and then you had two weeks for studying and then you would start your finals so what a lot of our like what a lot of the internationals would do is that we would actually spend the first week traveling me and a friend spent a week in Rotorua from Rotorua you could actually take a tour bus to Hobbiton so we decided to go because that's where Lord of the Rings was filmed and I had the urge to reread Lord of the Rings I know I said the Fellowship of the Ring was boring but I chalked it up to age. Like, I was only 13. I've never read The Hobbit, and I've heard The Hobbit is better than the actual trilogy. Like, a lot of people like it better. And I'm, I'm praying, I'm praying I like it. This is a very nice edition, too. I got this while I was in Christchurch, actually. Hello, and it's April 30th. Welcome to the last day of this vlog at... 11.45 p.m. So I haven't really done anything today but read The Hobbit. That was the most exciting thing I've done. And I have mixed feelings because I am incredibly bored but incredibly intrigued at the same time. The first chapter, the way everything was described and introduced, I felt like I was sitting around a bonfire and someone was telling me a story. But then he kept just, he kept telling rather than showing and I was like, okay, this is really boring. But at the same time, I'm not bored does I don't know does that make sense like I don't know so I'm very I'm actually very excited to keep reading just to see where it will where it will go honestly that's all I got guys oh I have one more thing this came in the mail there he is I always forget the Star Wars ones are bobbleheads but yes, I'm very, very excited with this. I feel like this was a very smart depression purchase. It was in my mental health's best interest to get him. And you know what? He gave me a little ounce of serotonin. Look how big those ears are. I'm just going to end the vlog here. It's been a wild time. And thank you for sticking with me for this long. Like, damn, I was editing the beginning stages of this video this morning. And this was supposed to be over April 7th. Holy crap. Holy crap. But if you like this video... Well, first of all, if you've made it this far, thank you. Thank you for sticking with me because this is this was just my way of processing what was going on. So thank you for letting me do that. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up or medium, small, I don't care. And then leave a comment, subscribe, the typical jargon, you know how it is. And I'm rambling. It's after midnight and I really, really, really need to go to bed. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Ciao, tutti.